back to Kate's Makeup Your Face where I teach you how to make up your face. Today's video is going to be a first impression slash review video of this new foundation that I picked up at the drugstore and it is called the Rimmel London Fresher Skin Foundation. Before we hop into the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also click the little bell down next to the subscribe button to be notified of videos that I post every week. And without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a first impression review on on this new foundation that I found at The Chemist, or I guess um, the drugstore. Um, I'm learning the new lingo here in Australia. It is the Rimmel Fresher Skin SPF 15 foundation, and it comes in this little jar. I got the shade 303 True Nude. The great thing about drugstores here in Australia is that they have little testers that you can like swatch on your skin, and you can find the best shade that matches your skin tone. This one I felt like was kind of the closest to my summer skin tone. I I don't have that much of a tan but a lot of my foundations that I have that I brought with me from California they're all for my winter shade and so I'm like pale in the face and very tan in the body so I definitely wanted to find something a little bit deeper and I don't know how this is gonna go I've never tried this but in the jar you don't even get one fluid ounce you only get 0.84 fluid ounces or 25 mils um, a standard foundation has 35 mils so you are cut a little bit short with this one I did get it on special it was half off so I only paid like nine dollars something oh normally it's 18.95 and so I got it for like 9.50 ish around that right off the bat you can see that the foundation comes in a jar not 100% in love with that, but, you know, make do with what you got. Now, woo, woo, okay. So immediately I could see that the consistency is like a whipped texture. I'm getting Revlon Colorstay whipped foundation vibes from this. Also the fact that it comes in a jar just like Revlon Colorstay whipped. When you tilt the jar, it does kind of have the tendency to run out but on the cap it's not running. I was originally going to apply this with a brush just because I felt like maybe it would go on more full coverage that way and I don't want the beauty blender to absorb the product so let me go ahead and get a brush. So my friend Michelle actually gifted me this brush. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. It is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna take what's on the lid because I don't want to waste product and I'm going to dot that all over the face let's go ahead and just do one side first hopefully that's okay Ooh, I'm getting this like soap smell kind of like a fresh clean scent that would make sense because it's fresher skin it says it's breathable natural finish foundation shine free finish and does not clog pores as you guys know, I do have oily skin, so that kind of stood out to me. Oh. I'm kind of doing this like padding motion. I'm not so much dragging it. And I'd also like to point out that I did not apply moisturizer and I did not, that was probably a mistake, I should have applied moisturizer, but I did not apply a primer underneath this. Strangely enough, I feel like this shade is still too light for me. <laughs> like, even after seeing it in the drugstore, I was like, oh look, I think this is a little too dark. It's still too light. How does that even happen? Okay, so immediately after just applying that one layer on my right side, I do notice there is a glow to my skin. I wouldn't say that this is a shine free makeup, but it is giving me that illusion of very like natural skin as if like I don't have any makeup on. It's a little bit tacky to the touch. Um, it's not a matte feeling. It did cover up like the redness and the darkness that has been lingering on my skin, but I would say that I still need a concealer for certain parts of my face and that I would definitely need to set this foundation afterwards. This is not one of those foundations that I can't set because it's just super tacky on the skin. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation to the rest of my face. I picked it up from the lid with the brush. Let's see if, whoa, okay. It's very like cold and cooling. I wouldn't say it's like a tingling feeling, but it's just like very refreshing. Actually, okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's definitely a, a lighter color when it's applied, but I think it oxidized because it's now matching my like body, but I kind of need to bring it down my neck. 
bring it down my neck. I love this brush, by the way. It's just like getting into all the crevices of my face. Ah! Don't you guys hate it when that happens? <laughs> so again, I'm not buffing it into the skin per se. I'm more of like stippling it in. And I'm hoping that gives me the best coverage of this foundation. It's so strange because it looks so light when you apply it. And like I'm looking at this side of my face and it's so much tanner. Yo, you guys. <laughs> this foundation is <laughs> oxidizing like crazy. My body is like lighter here than it is because <laughs> I wear tank tops. So, <laughs> Wow. Okay, I would say that that definitely covered up a lot of the blemishes on this side of my face. I probably should have started on this side just because I have more acne on this side. I don't know why that is the case, but I don't know. I probably would still apply a little bit of concealer because some redness is still peeking out just a little bit. I think you guys can see it in the, in the footage, but yeah, on the chin too. Now I'm going to go about my whole makeup routine. I normally do apply concealer underneath my eyes. I do apply concealer on my blemishes and I do apply a powder throughout the day. That is mostly because I do have oily skin. I have an oily T-zone. So if I don't set my makeup, it will literally run down my face. And it is summertime here in sunny Brisbane, Australia. So it is definitely going to go running, so I need to set that. I won't set it with a colored powder. I'll probably set it with Laura Mercier Translucent, just so then that way it doesn't alter the coloring on my face. Yo, I'm like really happy with the color selection. I'm not gonna lie, that was like pretty spot on. Go Kel, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys in a little bit and let you guys know what I think of the foundation so far. Okay guys, so I'm back. I finished up my makeup and it's looking real cray. Um, I had a little bit of a mishap. So it's currently 11.25 now. I started this review at 10 a.m. So it's been an hour and a half since I started my makeup. I have only set my face in the center because I get oily throughout the day. I did not set the other parts of my face. It's still a little bit tacky to the touch, but we're going to have to go with it because I don't want to alter the way that the foundation wears with powder and without powder. Also, don't mind this like gaping pimple in the middle of my forehead. I hate that pimple with a burning passion and um, it's been there for like a week, so... Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wear this foundation out throughout the day, see how it wears, check up on like oil control because I do get oily. Um, but as you guys can see, even after setting the center of my face, there is a glow in the center of my face. Um, I did apply highlighter to my cheeks, but I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like just the center of my face. It does have like this natural glow to the skin. I will keep you guys posted, let you guys know how I go. Hey guys, okay, what, what the heck was that? Okay. Hey guys, okay, so it's been a few hours. It's now two o'clock. It's been four hours since I've had this makeup on and I have to say I am looking really oily. I'm feeling really oily. You guys, I don't know, this is not, not a good foundation for me. I'm an oily skin girl. I didn't go over these little claims in the beginning when I was trying the foundation on, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over it really quick, but it says here that it's Rimmel London's first lightweight foundation that will not clog pores, let skin breathe, provides a shine-free natural finish, no thickness or heaviness, contains good for you ingredients, natural mineral powders, aloe, chamomile, and sea algae, and has SPF 15. The natural mineral powder absorbs excess oil, controls shine throughout the day. The aloe, chamomile, and sea algae extracts help soothe, smoothen, calm the skin, help to reduce and cover the appearance of redness, help to improve skin tone and texture, and the water gel texture blends easily due to its lightweight structure, provides a natural breathable coverage, does not settle into fine lines, does not clog pores, and is long-lasting sweat and humidity resistant. Let's start off with a claim where it controls the shine. Um, I definitely do not think that it controls my shine. I am very oily right now. My nose is just covered in oil. Uh, my chin as well, and I have some lipstick that smudged on my chin, but I didn't 
want to remove it because then it would remove the oil and so I just kept it so don't judge me definitely very oily oily in my cheek region I so badly want to blot my face and to be honest I so badly want to take this makeup off it just it doesn't feel lightweight on the skin it definitely feels like there is makeup on my skin it feels heavy I would not agree that this controls shine throughout the day and I also would not agree that it creates a shine free natural finish there was a glow to the skin when I first applied it so I wouldn't believe that claim now it says that it color corrects and reduces the appearance of redness I agree with that claim um, when I first applied this makeup I did notice that the redness was definitely reduced in like the nose region when I first applied it I felt like my skin looked very even I felt like the makeup was very lightweight it was going on very very effortlessly and it also created a medium to almost full coverage when I did just one layer but I would not say that it helped improve my texture at all um, I do have acne spots all throughout my face and I'm sure you guys saw that when I applied it um, my pores are very much visible it did say that it wouldn't clog my pores so I wouldn't expect it to settle into my pores however it did not at all smooth them out or make them less noticeable and then it also says that it'll blend easily and I agree it does blend easily um, but the coverage is definitely not breathable it was sticky and tacky when I applied it I needed to apply a powder on top of it to set it and make sure that I didn't like smudge off when I actually rubbed my hand on my face or something like that I don't feel like this is a foundation for me so unfortunately this foundation is not a go um, I would not recommend this foundation to you guys if you have oily skin like me or if you are living in an area which is definitely a lot more humid more hot my memory card ran out of space so I had to go clear some stuff but now I'm back okay and while I was gone I was able to recognize and I don't know if you guys know but I do this a lot and so these wrinkles I don't know if you guys can tell but there are lines that are formed on my forehead so that means that the foundation did settle into my fine lines where it said here that it wouldn't do that it also claimed to be long-lasting sweat and humidity resistant um, definitely would not agree with that either definitely not a fan so if you guys have my skin type where it's very oily you guys live in an area where it's super hot super humid and keep in mind I've just been sitting on the couch and I've been inside the house all day I haven't even been outside yet and I'm already sweating up a storm and looking like this oily greasy mess I definitely would not recommend that you guys pick up this foundation I also do not like the packaging it's in a jar therefore the bacteria and everything just using your fingers and having to dip your hands into the jar every single time you're gonna use it it's definitely not sanitary I do not recommend that if this came in a pump um, it would have at least one thing going for it I definitely would say pass on this foundation it's a no-go for me I'm really sorry even though it's only been four hours I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here maybe if the weather was different um, maybe the foundation will work a little bit better for me if you guys haven't already please don't forget to like comment down below subscribe and share this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye